Good day, my dear students. So today we will discuss about temperature. So temperature is the measure of hotness or coldness. So take note, it's a common experience that a cup of hot coffee left on the table eventually cools off. So uh, while this one and the cold drink eventually warms up. So that is when a body is brought into contact with another body. That it that is at a different temperature. So heat is transferred from the body at a higher temperature, higher to a lower temperature. At that point, heat transfer stops. So take note when two bodies are said to reach the same temperature, that is called thermal equilibrium so thermal equilibrium is the equality of temperature attained thermal equilibrium two bodies so we have two bodies reach the same temperature so nangyayari ang thermal equilibrium so take note when it comes to temperature pumapasok na tong zero law of thermodynamics since and dito yung thermal equilibrium so ang sabi daw dito ni zero law of thermodynamics it states that if two bodies are in thermal equilibrium with a third body they are also in thermal equilibrium with each other actually the zero law was first fol- formulated and labeled by R H Fowler in 1931 it was named the zero law since it should have preceded the first and the second law and the second law ibig sabihin siya yung mauuna kaya ang siya zero law of thermodynamics so today all temperature scales are degree celsius and the degree fahrenheit you always encounter this in your senior high school or in your junior high school so the degree celsius and the degree fahrenheit we all know that the boiling point i mean boiling point of this is zero is 100 degrees celsius and we have 232 degree fahrenheit in the freezing point the freezing point is zero degree celsius and 32 degree fahrenheit but since our subject is thermodynamic we have so-called the temperature scale or the thermodynamic temperature scale we're in in si we use the kelvin and in the english system the Rankine. so in kelvin i mean the si that is the kelvin scale so which is designated designated as k so this is the kelvin designated as k only so do not use this is not correct huh the degree k that is not correct so we will use the k because that is the degree symbol was officially dropped from kelvin in 1967 actually the lowest temperature of the temperature scale of kelvin is absolute zero or the so-called zero kelvin okay so the kelvin scale actually so the kelvin scale is related to celsius scale so take note in finding the temperature of a kelvin that is equal to the temperature of the given degree celsius plus 273.15 270.15 while in english unit or english system we use the rankine scale so the temperature unit on this scale is rankine which is designated also as r so take note r we do not use also the degree degree rankine so that is not correct that is wrong so this rankine scale is also related so to fahrenheit take note that the degree celsius is related to kelvin while this one the rankine is related into 
Fahrenheit. So how do we compute for the temperature? Uh, we have the temperature of the Rankine and the temperature of the Fahrenheit plus 459.67. Okay? Since these two, you know how to convert it. So we will use the, in thermodynamics, we always use the absolute temperature or tinatawag natin thermodynamic temperature scales, the temperature degree Kelvin, I mean the temperature Kelvin and the temperature in wrong kind. The temperature scales in two unit systems are also related. So take note that the temperature of given wrong kind is always equal to 1.8 times the temperature in Kelvin. Also, the temperature in given degree Fahrenheit is also equal to the 1.8 times the temperature of a given Celsius scale plus 32. Also, you have to take note that the change in temperature, take note of the delta, the change in temperature in Kelvin is just equal to the change in temperature in degree Celsius. And also the delta in the wrong kind is also equal to the change in temperature in degree Fahrenheit. So how do we apply this? So for example, you have to convert 122 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So that is the basic error. Wait. Hola tayo. Okay, so degree degree Celsius to degree Fahrenheit. So we have 122 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius and degree Kelvin. So how do we solve for this? Actually, you can use your calculator, but for me, if you want to really master this temperature scale, you just have to use the basic formula. So yeah, the degree Celsius is equal to the 5, 9, of the given Fahrenheit minus 32. So take note, we have the 5, 9 times 122 minus 32. So PEMDAS, so we have now 50 degree Celsius. Since the Kelvin, so may mali dito si Ma. Take note, walang rang, walang Celsius yun. I mean degree. So take note, we know that the Kelvin is related to degree Celsius. So Kelvin is equal to the scale, the temperature in Celsius plus the 273.15. So we compute for the Kelvin scale. So 50 degree Celsius. Oh, wala name Celsius. Mali na yan. So, 273.15. So, we have now, <coughs> excuse me, we have now 323.15 Kelvin. So, you have now your solution. So have now the degree Celsius and the degree, the 122 degree Fahrenheit converted into degree Celsius, wherein the answer is now is the 50 degrees Celsius in the Kelvin scale is that is equal to 323.15 K. Also, if we have this, the degree Celsius to degree, I mean to the scale of Kelvin. So another example, so we have to convert 440 degree to degree Fahrenheit and to degree Rankine. So how do we convert that? Take note that, actually mom, you can use the calculator, yes, but that is just for checking, checking purposes, but if you have literally know this formula, you can use this, okay? So we compute for the degree Fahrenheit, so that is 104 degree Fahrenheit. We also not know the relation of degree Fahrenheit to the Rankine, say, Rankine scale. Okay. So the Rankine scale now is equal to, so we compute for the Rankine. We have 104 
plus the 459.67 the numerical so we have now the rank 563.67 okay so the answer now we have now the degree Fahrenheit 104 degree Fahrenheit so the 40 degree Celsius is equal to the degree Fahrenheit 104 degree Fahrenheit and the rank is 563.67 so I want to clarify on my module that the degree rank kind there is a typo typographical error so you 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 use this R and the K okay so here in thermodynamics we always use this and convert the degree celsius into kelvin scale and the degree fahrenheit into rankai so thank you for listening so that's for temperature have a happy day thank you mm -hmm.